Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create some 3D pop-out text in After Effects. All this without using any third-party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Also, there's one more setting that we have to change. Just go to the 3D render and make sure the render is set to Cinema 4D instead of Classic 3D. After that, just click on OK. Now we are going to create a new solid. So right click, go to new and let's create a solid. Just click on OK. We are going to apply fill to this so that we can change its color easily. Just drag the fill onto this and let's change the color. And I'm going to make this something like this not particularly red but something like this i think this will work now we can add our text so select the text tool and you can click wherever you want after that you can type whatever you want i'm going to type motion and i'm using this cobalt font but it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want after that let's align the text to the center of the comp let's use the align panel and if you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it after that let's select the layer and hold on the control key and you can double click on this to move the anchor point to the center select the layer press s and let's scale this up something like this now let's make this layer 3d and make our solid 3d as well you can see that our text is now gone and we can fix that so first let me just switch to two view and now we can fix that by simply selecting the text and let's press p i'm going to change the position to negative 0.1 so you can see that our text is like barely on top of it and we are pretty much done with it. Now let's add some 3D depth to the motion text. For that you can select the text and go to geometry and under the extrusion depth let's set this to 30. Now you won't be able to see any extrusion because the text is behind this solid. Now let's add some lights to this so right click go to new and let's add light. So first I'm going to add a point light and let's set the intensity to 100. Now I'm going to one more light so right click new light and this one I'm going to set this to ambient and let's set the intensity to 30 something like this. Now we can probably select our point light just like that and we can probably move it to the top somewhere around here. Just like that. Now we can select the text and let me just quickly scale this up a little bit more. So I think this is looking fine. Now we can start adding some animation. So I'm going to select this, press P for position and let's add a keyframe in the beginning. Now move your indicator to somewhere around one second and I'm going to just simply decrease its value to something like negative 110 or you can see that we can move it to barely at the edge something like this so i think this is looking fine now we are going to change couple of the settings so in order to have the shadow we are going to select the layer then press a twice and after that let's enable the cast shadow option now you can see that the shadow is too dark so we can fix that by simply selecting the point light and let's press a a twice after that let's set the shadow darkness to something like 50 and the diffusion to 100 now you can see that we have much softer shadow which is exactly what we want and we are almost done with this step now let's select the motion text and press u and let's go to the two seconds and just simply copy the first keyframe and paste it now we can select the keyframes press f9 or you can right click keyframe assistant easy is go to the graph editor if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph after that you can just simply zoom in and let's change the graph to look something like this now this is completely experimental you can play around with the graph and make it look whatever you want to give it different kind of easing but for this example i'm going to set this to something like this now if i go out and we can probably press n to trim the preview area now if i play back and let me just quickly switch to one view let's set this to fit now you can see that we have this really nice animation something like this 
and if you think that it's too slow then you can select all the keyframes and hold on the alt or option key on mac then just simply move them closer something like this now if you want to add more text all you have to do is just simply select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it after that you can select the top layer press u and let's select all of its keyframe and let's make sure the timeline indicator is at the last keyframe now you can move their position to however you want let's move it somewhere around here and let's select the bottom text and let's select all the keyframes and let's move it a little bit down something like this now we can probably double click on it and let's type whatever you want there you go now if i play back here you can see that we have the both text and they have all the animations applied we can probably offset these layers so let me just quickly move the graphics to somewhere around here and let's increase the starting length so now you can see that we have this really amazing pop out animation just like that so in the same way you can add any number of text you want and you can sync it to music or voiceover however you want and this is how you can create these 3D pop-out text in After Effects. The project file for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. If you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.